Things in my restaurant have been getting spooky. Not just pumpkins with scary faces spooky, but headless horsemen have actually been seen around town in my restaurant. He's actually a pretty cool dude who likes to eat a lot of the food in my restaurant. If you're excited to see what's happening, then make sure you leave a like on this video and let's get right into my restaurant. There's nothing too haunting here. It's just my sixth floor with a big smiley face smack dab in the middle. But if we were to head all the way down to the first floor, we could take a look at what's happening outside. Well, past all these people, excuse me, pardon me, go ahead and find yourself a table. The waiters are being right with you. I just want to check outside and go to the big old shop that they have here and see what else they have added in to the new update, the haunted update. So besides it having an event, they also have some new items going on inside of here. Now, if I look around on any of these items, they're going to be quite pricey. And there's only a few left, like 9,000 corrupt royal tables are left. <gasps> and it summons a haunted VIP customer. Whoa, that's gonna be so cool. I kinda wanna get that. But it's 999 Robux, meaning I'm gonna have to use Robux to buy it. You know what? I do have enough Robux saved up, so I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, uh, I kinda want to, and I'm going to buy the Royal Table. There it is, I got the corrupted Royal Table. Now I can get that added into my furniture. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awesome. Now, now this is going to add some spooky element to our restaurant, as well as we can get ourselves a cauldron, which is a slightly increases the spawning chances of the Headless Horseman, and it tastes bitter. Ew. Would I want a cauldron? Oh no, there's plenty of those left, but not enough haunted coffins. They're all sold out. Oh boy, what more do they have? A candy bowl? Oh yeah, you can get yourself some Halloween candy for 75 Robux and a happy pumpkin for 30,000? I just spent 300,000 on a pumpkin because I thought they were sold out. Oh no, I, I should have waited for this pumpkin to go on sale and now I just have a very expensive pumpkin. Uh, well, we can go ahead and buy this one because this one actually isn't too bad either. <laughs> now, since it costs, oh wow, it costs a lot in order to get these corrupt royal chairs, but we did get the corrupt royal table, so we're gonna wanna have a seat, at least one, to match the other side. Oh, but it's 500 Robux, and we just bought it. Oh my goodness, I'm running low on my Robux now because I keep buying all this expensive stuff, like the tables, as well as the chair. I haven't even got the luxurious stove yet. Ooh. I probably need that real quick. Probably get that for my second floor. Not my second floor, my fifth floor, the luxurious floor. That's the one that I meant to talk about. And since we already got that one, we can probably get the luxurious dishwasher for it as well. I'm running low on funds now. Well, it's because I'm using it all to upgrade my restaurant during this haunted time of the year. Now I wanna go figure out what this event has going on, but I need to go fix the rest of my restaurant before I do so. I've got plenty of things that I need upgrading here and plenty of customers who need seats follow me guys you guys can head all the way up to the next floor on the second floor we've got plenty of four seating chairs they used to be twos now they're for four people and we even have some for three and i know i have a few extras in my furniture and i'm gonna use that real quick to finish out this floor because i'm i'm too busy trying to get ready for the next part of the update i want to see what this haunted event is all about. There we go. That looks very nice. Tables are done. I've got an excess amount of chairs, which is no big deal. And we can head up to the was the next floor that we need. Probably the fifth floor where we can put in our new luxurious appliances. We've got ourselves a new dishwasher so we can get rid of this old one Blech. and put in the luxurious dishwasher. Boom, and we can get rid of the one stove right here. Yeah, get rid of that double stove and put down the luxurious stove. I only want the best food for my top floor, or at least for the fifth floor, because my top floor at the moment is the sixth floor. And this one is my haunted floor. Ooh, nothing too spooky about it. This face is actually very happy to be up here. But now we can add in a spooky element of this brand new table. This one, the corrupted one. I'm gonna add it right right on his nose, so he's got a little red nose there. And I'm gonna put in 
one corrupted royal chair for whenever we can get a headless horseman to show up to our restaurant. And hopefully we can with this one seat sitting right there waiting. He might even like a little bit of plants. So let's give ourselves a little plant for him to sit by. Yeah, there we go. The blue hydrangea. Hydrangea. G -g 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 the flower. Okay, now that we have that figured out, let's go back down to our first floor. I'm pretty sure everything is well decorated. Our smiling pumpkin is sitting right there. What are you doing there? I didn't mean to place a pumpkin there. I wanted to place this down somewhere else. Nice, so all these people could be smiling when they walk in and out from this room. Now that we have this all figured out, our restaurant can continue running as is. And we can probably hire ourselves a few new cooks just in case for that, when that horseman arrives. But I wanna go check out the event that is happening in the middle of the map today. Now I'm curious on what he has to show or what he has to offer. <gasps> Besides a Halloween themed restaurant for $66 million. Wow, that's a lot. What do you have, my weird, cool friend? Hello, Dino Bro. I am the Headless Horseman. I'm looking to reward the best restaurants this man has to offer. I have t five tasks for you. Okay, five tasks, and they're significantly harder than the last one? If you complete all five tasks, you will prove yourself worthy for my reward. Well, the first task is to find eight pumpkins around the map, and he'll give me a small gift when I find them. Okay, so I just gotta go find myself some pumpkins. You mean like this one? Found one pumpkin. It wasn't too difficult now, was it? Let's just keep looking around this map like under the bridge and find ourselves another pumpkin. Boom. So that's two of the eight pumpkins that we're searching for. I think we're only searching for eight of them, right? That's a lot of pumpkins. Okay, found this one. Let's see if there's any others on this side before I head inside of the shop. No, we're all good here. All good there. How about right over here? Any other pumpkin I see? Oh, hello, marketplace. Aha! Boom. Another pumpkin found. Is there two of them in here? There's a chance there may be. No, there's only one, and we were able to find it pretty quickly. It's good. If there's one on the inside, I doubt there's any on the outside. So let's go back this way and keep our eyes peeled for the pumpkins. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see one very far in the distance. And guess where it's at? Right by the marketplace on the opposite end that I did not check out. Oh, dang, I missed out collecting this pumpkin. Now we finished our task for the Headless Horseman and we can go receive our first reward from him. Impressive. Take three happy pumpkins as a reward. Wait, three happy pump? I just bought a happy pumpkin. I've given you another task. You must serve 10 VIP customers in your restaurant. Okay, so the next reward is Serving 10 VIP customers and I can get $200,000? I'm going back to my restaurant. I'm gonna start and get these VIPs. Now, how do we get more VIP customers to show up? I've already had nine show up for an achievement, but I have not seen any others since. I can boost the opportunity to actually have a VIP customer show up. For 50 Robux, which I can spend, I can get myself one VIP customer. And there he is, right up here. He's in line. Hello, Mr. VIP, go ahead and find yourself a seat. We'll get you served right up, mister. Where's he heading up to? What floor? Is he on the second floor? Of course he wouldn't be. He's a VIP. He's got to be on something like the fifth floor. What? He's not even up here. Is he make it all the way to the sixth? Uh, what floor is he on? Oh, he's on the fourth floor. The one with my little jack-o'-lantern. Oh, I guess you really like the look of this floor, don't you, sir? I'm not picking my nose, I swear. I'm just making sure I get your order taken care of. Now let's head up to the fifth floor and let's get ourselves a luxury dish made up for him. Ooh, somebody already has it cooked up. Now let's see whether or not we can find the right order for him or if he's already getting his order sent down to him. Oh, he's got the pink, pu the pink cupcake. That is one of my new recipes, and let me tell you, it is so sweet and delicious. I'm gonna let that VIP enjoy his food in peace, and we're gonna go back down to the first floor, and we're gonna keep an eye out for more VIPs. Hello? Are you a VIP or are you a celebrity? This guy looks kooky wacky. I think he might be going up to the sixth floor. 
He is, and he's gonna be eating at our single table. <gasps> he's gonna be the first one eating at our haunted table. Okay, buddy, I see how it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take your order, sir, because I wanna ensure that you get the right thing served to you. Perfect. All right, here's your strip of bacon, sir. Hope you enjoy that bacon. I hope it turns out well for you. He's gonna be eating at the cursed table or the corrupt table, and that means he's gonna have some himself some really interesting food. Whoa, and this luxury thing, this luxury stove cooks so fast. Look at how fast things can be cooked like that. This is incredible. My restaurant is running smoothly now. Oh, and our VIP guest has already left the building. I hope he left a generous tip. One thing you could do for this game is buy dollars with Robux, but I actually think it's more worth it to just run the restaurant and try and get dollars saved up that way. So I'm not just using my Robux on a bunch of money. I can use my Robux to buy specific items in this game. Game, which would end up creating some really cool scenarios for my restaurant. Besides the uh, 25,000 people that have been coming to my restaurant, we have a chance to see a headless horseman show up and hopefully enjoy some of our treats. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna keep my restaurant running and I'm gonna figure out how I can get more VIPs to show up to my restaurant without having to buy them, of course. I'm not using Robux all the time. I need to get at least nine more so I can finish the Headless Horseman's task. Because once I finish five of his tasks, he'll be able to visit my restaurant. I have no reason to say no. Isn't that right, Mr. Horseman? We were able to find some of those pumpkins for the horseman and even get a VIP to enter our restaurant. But we still have many tasks at hand before we can get the horseman to settle down and eat at our restaurant. If you made it this far into the video, then please leave a like for me. And hopefully with your help, we'll get a Headless Horseman to visit our restaurant in the next video. And if you want to see that one, then you better click on that subscribe button. That way you could be here from when it shows up. Like when this video showed up on the screen, right here. All you have to do is tap or click on it and you can start watching the video immediately. Otherwise, Headless Horseman might show up and give you a few tasks, like making himself a piece of bacon. Yeah, he likes eating bacon, but you should click on this video. <laughs>